So hi everyone, Service here, welcome back to another video. So, um, today I have so a really interesting video for spenders. And if you're free to play, uh, I am sorry, I'm going to be discussing some stuff which might be <laughs> kind of annoying for you, but that doesn't matter. So, if you saw, Armor did like three videos on this monster already. And, um... If you saw the potential of Alfira, you probably want to buy her. Now, I have to say that this monster is phenomenal. I haven't seen such a strong monster in a while. And I think she might be the strongest attacker by itself. Like, 1 million damage, an average of 1 million damage by yourself. Uh, without using any support, like guys, well, I usually arrive to like 1 million or 2 million damage with strong attackers like Rackshack or whatever. Um, with the help of Gaizuo, um, and maybe like I run Grakshak, Gaizuo, and Pangoliath, um, and my Grakshak can attack with the double damage and damage boost, which is almost always a uh, certainty. Um, so my Grakshak is usually like does at least 140 million damage. Um, with the what is it called uh with the damage boost even if she is like 130 or 140 uh now i have a 140 i used to have her at 130 but um yeah that's pretty much all about it and imagine the potential of such a monster that a rank 5 um can do a million of damage by yourself imagine the potential with a damage boost monster it will be definitely amazing Nonetheless, you're also countering every extra chain monster which is released, which we have a lot of. We have Shivarka, which is insane. Uh, we have Jack Prostiel, which is like the free-to-play Shivarka, uh, which I didn't get, unfortunately. Then we have Cherub Cupid. Cherub Cupid is really strong. Um, extra Churner. So yeah, and also this monster can do extra churns. And you can also partner up with, uh, with Raris and use the... Extra turn mechanic, the gives an extra turn to the enemy. That is also a cool mechanic you can use. And I overall think that this monster is not meta, even beyond that. She's an, she's formidable. And if that wasn't enough, you don't only have anticipation, you have Pierce. Uh, unless your uh, Pierce Setus Caster gets removed, you can still like reapply it with either a, a setup skill which is, isn't that good, you shouldn't run that. But um, with aim for weakness, which applies dark weakness, uh, deals damage, applies spears, but that, that's crazy. And it also has one share cooldown, uh, which means you can just give yourself the damage boost extra chain skill um, and go on from there. Like this monster is formidable again. So, overall, this is a really powerful monster, and, oh, wait, seven days, oh, they, they even prolonged, you, you will be able to buy it from the next tier as well. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay, yeah, you can buy it from the next tier. That is really interesting, okay. That doesn't matter, however, um, I am here just to talk about what is the value of the monster. Now, buying here on ranked, to be honest, you can easily get her to rank 3 and just start devasting the enemy, because rank 3 are already, already dealing like alpha million damage uh, by every hit. Um, so, yeah, she can pair up with any extra turn, uh, it, like with every turn transfer monster. You can run her with a pure pen off, uh, with a, um, what is she called? With a UV fusion. We don't have an extra, uh, um, a turn transfer doomed monster, but I think that's fine. But yeah, you can pair it up with that. You can get it at rank 3, which I don't recommend. If you really want to spend a lot, just spend uh, the 110 euros for the rank 5. Then you already get the pierce. Which is something that I don't like is the fact that she gets pierce on rank 5. I would prefer like a rank 4 or something like that, because... Rank 5 is really hard to get if you buy her in ranked. And now I know if you buy her in ranked, of, of course it's going to be hard. Uh, but I just think it's not the best to have uh, such a good trait as such a high rank. But yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, oh okay. 
Uh, just for fun, let's just do that and let's find the thing. Okay. I knew it was going to be there, I didn't have the stamina to do it. That doesn't matter, however, this is not what I'm talking about. But, as you know, um, there's going to be a next era in the next, um, like, in the next week. So, should you buy the Legend Pass or Elfira? Now, you can buy both, of course. But for a lot of players, including me, it's a tough decision. Now, um, I am almost certain that um, the next Legend Pass Master is going to be... Uh, what is she called? Queen Zahara, the mythic version of the legendary monster Zahara, which I think will be a great, great monster. Um, we'll have to see, because like next, uh, last era, this era we saw uh, Lord and Herder, which was formidable, and it and still is, and now we probably will see um, something similar with Zahara. Now. We don't know the skill set, we don't know the trait, we don't know the stats, we don't know practically anything. Um, we know that there's going to be a new control effect added, which is Roots, but knowing the original Zara as a support, I don't think we are going to have that the deny skill onto a support monster. However, like we already have Uriel with that, which has that, but I don't think it's going to happen. However, um, the monster can be quite good. And no one knows. Now the skill set is probably going to be released um, tomorrow. By by tomorrow, uh, as usual, like the skill sets of the next uh, season monster uh, gets leaked on Sundays, on Mondays, um, the week before, and that is probably going to happen tomorrow as well. Um, so I'd say wait. Uh, you can still like you're not losing a lot. If you want to buy Elfira, do it. For sure, she's a meta monster. But I think you should have to wait and see what the next era should be and could be. Um, and judge if it's worth it to spend uh, monster on Elf uh, to spend money on Elfira. Like, imagine there's a new monster which is insane and you're missing out of on that monster just because you bought Elfira. And maybe you regret that, like I did with Jaeger. <laughs> No, like, I, I love Jaeger Yurand, he's a really strong attacker, but nah, when you can compare it to uh, a monster like Elfira, it kind of uh, kills you. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all about it. So, also, I have to address the fact that I haven't uploaded for a long while. Um, I am sorry, but I have no clue of what content to bring. I am trying to do uh, the Defeat the Fugitive series again. Because um, that was a really fun series, and I really liked doing the, I, that. Was a fun idea, not series, and I really would like to do that. But every time I find a fugitive, it's Monster Plant, and I already did the video on Monster Plant. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. When I will get um, a different fugitive, I will do a video onto it. Don't worry. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all about it. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next video. I'll also be. Um, Notificating you whatever happens from for the next era because I am really hyped up But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye